Maitra Sfada Manda la badosha badushe keya Rebeko sataria babush Manda li bababa kusataya Kila madush kala madusha ya Roboko satayina namako sataya Roboko sekelebe haya Robo shaba namaku taya Robo ko se nelebe ko Robo ko tari abadushka haya Tongs of fire god Didi yo saku Robo ko sakata la baku sikaya Robo ko se ke nelebo ko saya Robo ko sikaya baba Mandoro bo ko shaya In Jesus prophetic name Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the line of Judah Prophetic Worship Center. I am Apostle Anike Israel. We are back on this holy train. Yes, stand God for his immutable, invincible power. Thank God for his regenerative power. Some people call it. The resurrection power. I call it also the regenerative power. Hallelujah. I am telling you to wake up early this morning and to go on TikTok this morning and shout to shout and come back up. I'm feeling real recalibrated. <laughs> hallelujah. I go and start war this morning. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am hallelujah. so glad. I am so glad that God. Is really doing everything that he God knows how to do to win the loss at any cost. Amen. And I'm so excited that we are a part of the end time harvest. So I want you to roll up your sleeve. If you never get an opportunity to win soul, now is the time. You yes, don't have God. to have a pulpit to win soul wherever you are in yes, your own little sphere of influence. Amen. You can Amen. minister to souls because that is so precious to the Lord. It gives him joy to see that we're picking up the true commission and to go Amen. after the lost at any cost. Are you there? Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to say good morning to my spiritual father. We had a wonderful time. All my spiritual father were gathered, the three of them. And so I am so excited that they are seeing what God has been saying all these months, all these years. I want to thank God for a special sponsor that does not want her name to be called. She surprised me as we are pursuing a particular thing 
that I will tell you about. She really? surprised me. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. As on the first month of July, July is the month of perfection. It's also the month of peace and rest. Hallelujah. As you go into your prophetic Goshen, as you go into your fruitful oasis, you must go with peace and with rest. Are you there? In the name Amen. of Yeshua. So we're going to ask the Lord that this month will be a fruitful month. I'm going to pass some prophetic decrees Amen. over Amen. us on the first month, the first day of July, which is the seventh month. Hallelujah. The Hallelujah. number seven is denoted as perfection and completion. Hallelujah. I prophesy that all your incomplete task and all your incomplete assignment that you didn't get to accomplish from January on to June. Now that you have stepped into the month of completion and peace and rest, you will complete your pro your pro all the I projects. Agree. You will do them with ease. You will not be buffled and fustled by the enemy. Are you there? Hallelujah. I agree so I'm going to pass on declaration and you are going to say, I agree, beat upon me. I receive it by thunder, by fire. The first Amen. declaration in the month of July, you shall bury no one and no one will bury you. In the mighty name of Yahushua, can we say it? In I this agree. month of July, this month yeah, of July I will bury no one. I bury no, no one. one will bury me. No in the prophetic name of Yahushua, in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The anointed one. Can you Hallelujah. say it again? In this month in of this July, month this month of July, 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 July Years, you can prophesy and legislate no in the month of July. The month I of July of no years to year. Am I talking? Can you point your finger and say this month this of month July? Of July. July. This month of July. In the word of July. the Lord. Hallelujah. I will carry no one. No one will be in the month of July. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Are you saying it with fire and with thunder? Amen. Amen. No, you want of July. You want of July. You want of July. You want of July. Hear the word of the Lord. I will not be able to do that. And none of my children shall remain. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 July, in the month of July, I shall not die. In the month of July, no accident, no incident, no captivity, no proclivity. I shall not die. In the month of July, I shall not die. Come on, hold on. In the month of July, I shall not die. My in the month of July, in the month of July, we shall not die. In the month of July, are you there? Open up your mouth. Hallelujah. In the month of July, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the month of July, we shall not be buried. Oh, we shall not be buried. Oh, my husband shall not be buried. No one will be buried. No one, no one, no one will be buried. In the month of July, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will. I will not die. I will not die. No one will kill me in the month of July. Are you praying? No one will kill me in the month of July. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of
So at this time, I'm going to mute it and shoot the prayer point. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you're going to say it with fire. You're going to say it with thunder. You're going to say it aggressively because you want to be preserved in this month. Are you there? Hallelujah. Can we say it again? In this month of July, hallelujah, no one will give me a bad, hallelujah, a bad phone call. There will be no bad news for me in this month of July. Can you open your mouth? All bad news shall be deleted. No one will contact me with bad news in this month of July. In the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, I shall not be contacted with any bad news in the month of July. In Jesus' prophetic uh -huh, name, I pray. The next prayer point you're going to say, you month of July, hear the word of the Lord. You have an ears to ear. Hear the word of the Lord. All my blessings that have been confiscated in January, February, March, April, May, and June, I command you all to vomit them in the month of July. In the mighty name of Jesus, all confiscated blessing, all confiscated breakthrough, hallelujah, will be vomited, will be released back to me in the month of July. In the name of Jesus Christ. The next prayer point you're going to say, oh God, arise. Every coffin demon, every casket demon that have been pursuing me in dreams. Casket demon, coffin demon pursuing me in dream in the month of July. You shall not fulfill your assignment or your agenda. In the name of Jesus, casket devils shall not find me in the month of July. Coffin spirits shall not fulfill their assignment. In the month of July, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can log on to Zoom. We're there. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next prayer point is every confederacy, every treasury, every conglomerate of wicked power wishing for my death. Hallelujah. I cancel it from the second heaven. On the earth and under the earth. Come on. Every conglomerate of wicked power waiting to announce your obituary, waiting to announce that you are dead. We cancel their attack. We cancel their assignment from the second heaven on the earth and under the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, can you say that loud and clear? Every conglomerate of wicked power. That is waiting to hear that I'm dead. I cancel. Hallelujah. I cancel that obituary from the second heaven on the earth and under the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you're going to prophesy to your destiny and say, my destiny in this month of July. Carry favor, unqualifiable, unmatchable, unquantifiable of favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You, my destiny, carry favor, carry favor, carry favor, carry favor. Can you say it loud and clear? You, my destiny in the month of July, carry favor. You, my star, carry favor. You, my house, carry favor. My underwork, carry favor. My business, carry favor. My children, carry favor. My anointing, carry favor. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, are you praying this morning? You, my destiny in the month of July, carry the unqualifiable, unmatchable, unquantifiable a favor of God in this month of July. In the mighty name of Yod A. Avad A. Two more prayer points to go. I jump out of every spiritual coffin. Hallelujah. I jump out of every spiritual casket, every spiritual coffin. In the name of Jesus, can you say it loud and clear? I jump out. I jump out. I jump out. I jump out of every spiritual coffin. I jump out of every spiritual casket in this month. I shall not be caged by any casket devils. In the name of Jesus, 
Makaboshata. The last prayer point you're going to say, God of Elijah, envelop my body, soul, and hallelujah, spirit with your fire. Hallelujah. Yes, God, I get two more prayer points. Uh, God of Elijah, envelop my body, soul, and spirit with fire. God of Elijah, envelop my body, soul, and spirit with fire. God of Elijah, envelop my body, soul, and spirit with fire. God of Elijah, envelop my body, soul, and spirit with fire. God of Elijah, envelop my body, soul, and spirit with fire. Oh, you love a douche, calabar, couche, de de be. God of Elijah, God of Elijah, envelop my body, my soul, my spirit with fire, with fire, with fire, with fire, with fire. Can you say God? Yes, sir. God of Elijah, God of Elijah, envelop my body, my soul, my spirit with fire. 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 When your body, soul, and spirit is enveloped with fire, you are not easily penetrated. You are not easily infiltrated. When your body, soul, and spirit is enveloped by fire, can you say it again? God of Elijah, envelop my body, my soul, my spirit with fire. My children, body, soul, and spirit with fire. I wear the garment of fire. I carry the garment of fire. Yes, sir. I wear the garment of fire, the helmet of fire, the shoot of fire, the breastplate of fire. God of Elijah, envelop me with fire. God of Elijah, envelop me with fire. Body, soul, and spirit uh, envelop with fire in the name of Jesus. Uh, God of Elijah, envelop me with fire. God of Elijah, envelop me with fire. Body, soul, and spirit uh, in the mighty name of Yahushua, Amashiach. The, the prayer point that the Lord just hallelujah, fired into my spirit. Any wound, any wound I have received from witchcraft, let it dry up. Any wound I receive from witchcraft, dry up. Any wound I receive from witchcraft, dry up. Sometimes witchcraft wounds you. Any wound, stabbing, shooting, scratching, biting, hallelujah. Any wounds I have received as a result of of witchcraft, uh, let it dry up. Are you there? Uh, hallelujah. Any wounds I have received as a result of witchcraft, let it dry up by fire, dry up by fire, dry up by fire, dry up by fire. Any wound I have received as a result of witchcraft. Some people receive emotional wounds, psychological wound. Some people receive cancer, brain tumor, diabetes. I don't know what kind of wound witchcraft has given to you. Can you say loud and clear? Any wound I have received from witchcraft, dry up by fire, dry up by fire, dry up by fire, dry up by fire, dry up by fire. Uh -huh. Ah, are you getting it now? I decree, I prophesy any wound witchcraft has given to me. Is it a sickness wound? What kind of wound did witchcraft put on you? Can you say, Lord, and clear any wound I have received from witchcraft? Dry up by fire, 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 dry up by fire. The wounds, yes, the wounds. The the incurable wounds, the wounds for tragedy, the wound for sickness, that witchcraft, hallelujah, as programmed in my body, a dry up by fire, dry up by fire. You got the link, baby girl. Come on, the link. Roko sata liboku shakalabaha. Dry up by fire. The wound of sickness, the wound of untimely death, the wounds. In my body, every wound, hallelujah, the wound that the eaters of flesh and the drinkers of blood is tearing my flesh. They are tearing my flesh. Every witchcraft wound I have received, dry up, Allah shall be healed and be made whole in the mighty name of Yahushua. 
If you have said that, open your mouth and shout aloud, amen, this morning. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and vomit the am. Hallelujah. The amen, the amen, the amen. Yes, I call my amen, my amen. Hallelujah. Yes, vomit the amen to the Lord because he's good and his mercies endured forever. And his truth is recognizable in every generation. Are you there, beloved? In the name amen. of Jesus amen. Christ. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to uh, welcome our global platform because today um, God wake me up this morning and say to me that the enemy has gone to conference. I prophesy that any man and any woman has gone on an evil journey to kill you in the month of July. They will not come back from their evil journey. Shout hallelujah amen, by fire amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, uh, amen, any witch amen. that wake up early in the morning uh, to go amen. and seek oh, they will kill you oh, Oh, they will stop you from accelerating into your realm of divine blessing, unprecedented favor in the month of uh, uh, July. They will not come back. Something will happen to cause them not to return from their evil journey. Shout hallelujah. 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 Any man, any woman that is planning evil for you in the yes. month of July. That has gone on an evil journey to stop you in the month of July. That is saying no to the yes of God in your life and your destiny in the month of July. They will not see you in the Amen. month of July. Amen. I hope you can say, Lord, Hallelujah. whatever journey they got on, whatever journey they got journey they have gone on to yeah. stop you in the month of July. Amen. Can I prophesy blessing will I'm be inside. for you and be going to you Hallelujah. in the month of July. Hallelujah. July is the month you kill the dragon, you kill Amen. the snake, you kill the scorpion, you enter Hallelujah. into your prophetic Goshen, your prophetic Amen. Hallelujah. Fruitful oasis. The month of July marks a new Amen. Hallelujah. A new day. It's Amen. a new season. A I new paradigm has come to you in the I month of July. It. Are you there? Praise the name I of receive it. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. In the month of July, I receive it. God has been robbing you, trying to steal your blessing, Jesus. serpent and scorpions, witches and wizards in your environment. That Jesus. has been trying to steal from you. They Amen. will be arrested by Amen. you. I agree. I agree, Lord. Amen. Amen. They will be arrested. I agree. I agree. I agree, Lord. Amen. I agree, Lord. Amen. I want the last Amen. to be so charge up this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That has been robbing me of my health. Robbing me of my energy, robbing me of my peace of mind, robbing, robbing me of my well-being in the month of July. Pass it out, vomit it out, spit it out. In the name of the Lord, of Jesus, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. In the month of July, in the month of July, I will not go to my bed and sleep. Amen. I will not go to my bed and sleep after the month of July. But that I is agree. trying to kill me in my sleep. They will yeah, not kill, to kill me in the month of July. They will not kill me in the month of July. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So this time, I'm so happy. I am. Words cannot express the goodness of the Lord that I am feeling. I mean, when I went on TikTok this morning to rebuke the spirit of death this morning, I, I hear God said to me, now go on TikTok for me. And I said, Daddy, you're a little bit too spontaneous. He said, just go, go. And I went and I do my father's bidding. Are you there, beloved? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Somebody say, I, I have to be ready to move. You must hold all things loose at this time. I sense that in the month of July, God is going to connect us to some renowned people. Are you there, please? Hallelujah. 
Are you there, saints? The month of July, many of us will be connected to some phenomenon people, people who are carrying grace of expansion, people who are coming with Amen. your wisdom, people who are Amen. coming with different things that pertain unto you. Hallelujah. Can you Amen. lift your right hand and say, Plug me in the socket of my destiny. Plug me in the socket of my destiny, helpers. Plug me in the socket of my destiny, helpers. Plug me in the socket of my destiny, helpers. Jesus Christ. Did you know, beloved, that your destiny helper is not just financers? Your Amen. destiny helper can be a prayer warrior that Amen. has a unique anointed to Amen. cannot Amen. Call and accelerate Amen. you into Amen. another level. Amen. A destiny helper can be someone who God assigned to you to help you to fight your battles. Amen. Am I talking to someone? Your Amen. destiny Amen. helper can be someone who can be a voice for you when you don't have a voice. Hallelujah. 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 In Persia, Esther was the destiny helper for the Jewish people because she had a voice as a queen that she could speak on their behalf. So Amen. destiny helpers come in vast Hallelujah, magnitude and their various signs of destiny helpers. And if you are one of the ones who don't pray for your destiny helper, woe mm -hmm. be unto you. Some people are in captivity for five years, 10 years, hallelujah, 15 years, 30 years, and their destiny helper cannot locate them. Are you there, beloved? I prophesy over you this morning that wherever your destiny, your destiny helpers are located, they will locate you by fire. They will locate you by thunder. Are you there this morning? Can you open up your mouth and say, I plug my body, my soul, my destiny, my star in the socket of my destiny helpers in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, Yahweh. International ministry open. This line is loaded this morning. Can you open your mouth and say, I plug my body, soul, and spirit in the socket of my destiny helper, my destiny helper. Locate me by fire, locate me by fire, locate me by fire, locate me by fire, locate me by fire. Come on, send a proclamation, send a word this morning. My destiny helper, look at me by fire. My destiny helper, look at me by fire. Look at me by fire. Look at me by fire. Name of Jesus. My destiny helper, look at me by fire. I send a warrant for your heart. I send a warrant for your heart. Some of you, your destiny helper are in captivity. So any chains of darkness that my destiny helper will my destiny helper before they look at 
My destiny helpers will not die before they locate me in the name of Jesus. My destiny helpers will not die before they locate me in the name of Jesus. My destiny helpers will not die before they locate me in the name of Jesus. My destiny helpers will not die before they locate me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I feel an anointing to speak some strange things this morning. Hallelujah. I'm not reading this thing. God is just telling me that we need to pray for our destiny. All right, I'm going to give you a few more prayer points. The Holy Ghost is speaking them. My destiny helper, you will not die. Until you locate me, Mashabo Shata Rabaku Sata. In the name of Jesus, the next prayer point. Any maggot, any worm, any reptile, any witchcraft animal program in my body to give me this favor in the sight of my destiny helper. You maggot of darkness, I set you on fire. Huh? Robo Kosata, any maggot of darkness, anything they program in my body for my destiny helpers to aid me and to turn away from me. I set those program on fire. I set those program on fire. I set those program on fire. By the power in the blood of Jesus, uh, anything program in my body, hallelujah, to cause my destiny helpers to run away from me and to aid me. I command it to be flashed out by fire in the name of Yahushua Hamashayan. Shout hallelujah. 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 This prayer point you're going to pray, you're going to pray like a mad prophet. Ah. You must pray it like a mad a prophet. Last night, I have a, a serious, serious awakening. God put me outside my house and I was running around the house. The whole house was set and smoke. Fire was coming everywhere from my house. Are you there? Hallelujah. And when I look, I saw a lady, an Hindu lady with a big, hallelujah, breadfruit. We call it in Jamaica. She had this breadfruit. And I said, what are you doing in my yard? She said, I said, what did you come to plant? Which I said, pick up that breadfruit and carry it back to the sender. You want to see her running and I was around, spinning around the house like gig rack. I invoked the volcanic fire of God around this house. And I was really, when I get back in my house, it was my um, a five something this morning after. And I was not there in the physical. I was there in the spirit, doing a spiritual work. Hallelujah. Sometimes some unwelcome guests come to your house like the serpent and the scorpion, like the spiritual assassin. So God must make you alert when it's time for battle. You don't sleep until that witch that come to terrorize you is buried by fire. Are you there this morning? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. The next prayer point we're going to pray. Anything programmed in my body to kill me. Fire of God. Flush it out. Can you say it with lightning and thunder? Anything programmed in my body. Fire of God to kill me. Fire of God. Locate it and flush it out. Open your mouth and say the prayer point now. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and say it. 
anything programmed in my body to kill me. Uh, anything programmed in my body to kill me. Fire of God floating out. Fire of God floating out. Fire of God floating out. That thing that they program in my body. That thing that they program in my body to kill me. Let the fire of God flush it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the fire of God flush it out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything in my body programmed to kill me. Fire of God, flush it out. Anything programmed in my body to kill me. Fire of God, flush it out. Flush it out. You're not praying. Anything programmed in my body to kill me. Fire of God, flush it out. Fire of God, flush it out. Fire of God, flush it out. Flush it out. Flush it out. Flush it out, flush it out, fire of God, flush it out in the mighty, <laughs> in the mighty name of Yahushua Amashiach, Jesus, the anointed one. Amen. That was good. That was good prophetic activation. Yeah? That is a story to store your spirit to pray. When you come off this line, because I see a lot of arrow being fired into people's body. <laughs> God bless you. I send you the link. Good morning. Bless you, beloved. Hallelujah. You have to pray out those things. I dreamt uh, a baby sucking a, a particular person's breast this morning. I have to get up and cancel breast cancer. Hallelujah. And the power that was sucking out the woman of God, virtue to make her paralytic in the spirit. And so to God be the glory. We're here to welcome our global platform. Those that was on. Hallelujah. TikTok this morning. I give God thanks and I give him praise for you. Glory and honor to the Lord who is raising up people across the world to deliver is captive hallelujah i give him praise this morning i don't know where the energy come from god has been reviving me by his spirit hallelujah this cannot be attributed to vitamin this is supernatural power somebody shout hallelujah in the name of jesus christ this morning our global platform viewers attendees from across the world we want to give god thanks for your life and give thanks for your destiny and give thanks for what yahweh is doing in your life at this time we're under a prophetic team this morning the team is saying no to the spirit of death can somebody say i am saying no to death this morning in the name of jesus can you say say no to the spirit of death Say, say no, no to the spirit of death. That is our no team this morning. No to the spirit no of to death. The spirit of death. I will tell you no where. The of yes, my no arm. My, of death. Yes, salutation to my armor bearer and all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All those who make this a possibility. Huh. If you ever know what God is about to do with you, you will be on cloud nine this morning. In Jamaica, amen, we say, amen. in Jamaica, we say King Popalik and Flick. Bah! Hallelujah. God is about to do some unprecedented things. God is going to surprise you starting this week. This week is a week of surprise. Hallelujah. There will be various surprises. From the Lord this week. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who have not yet accepted Yahushua Mashiach as your Lord and Savior, you're missing out big time. Somebody say you're missing out big time. In the name of Yahushua. I say God is not only healing the sick, raising the dead. I mean, creative miracles. People are getting all kind of interface with God. And it is very important that we don't miss 
anything that God is doing in this season. So I'm going to mm -hmm. invite those of you that have not yet accepted Yad A, Avad A as your Lord, your sovereign Savior and ruler to do so right now. I share my testimony of having an encounter with birds. And it happened again yesterday when I have an encounter with vicious birds, birds that are part woman and part birds. And they are here because the way the reason why they are multiplying so great is because of the the, 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 the false nails, the eyelashes, hallelujah, and some of the human ear that come from the sirens. The sirens are taking over various nations of the world and they are planting their seeds in, in the women and men because it's not just women putting on earpiece and stuff. All men wearing makeup, eyeliner and those things and putting on those things. So they are, they are aggressive now. The sirens are having massive intercession and they are praying to the queen of heaven. They are praying to the queen of heaven to shut down Christian businesses and to put spells of seductions and spells of buy my stuff and spells that make us more vulnerable to their products than other authentic products and, and so that they can install their venom inside of us and steal our beauty, steal our glory and take it to their kingdom. So I really had a serious interface with some sirens, some bird women yesterday. There are witches that transform into birds and it is possible they can do those things. And it was a brutal battle, but I'm here today because Christ is victorious. Shout hallelujah. Amen. It was a mean battle. Then I'm um, so saints. Men and women of God, don't be in a hurry to get stuff that you don't investigate the root of these things now because they're using this as a platform, a ladder of darkness to get their products. They know that some of us are not going to do certain things, that if you find out that Proctor or Gamble or, or some of these devil worshiping company, if they have their thing on it, sometimes you'll be peculiar when you're going to the supermarket to pick up a product that you know is satanically, hallelujah, worshippers um, produce those things. You will think twice, but there are some things that you won't know the root of them. And these are the products that they're using to invest their venom in our life. And they have a stronghold through the things we eat and through the things we wear. It's hard to get them out when they have a ladder of darkness on the inside of you. So for those of you who have not yet accepted Yahuwah as your Lord and Savior, I invite you to do so expeditiously. The time is now. Oh my God, we are just grabbing people by the head, by the hands, by the feet and, and say, come, come to the Lord, run no more than ever before time changes into eternity. Mm -hmm. Are you there, beloved? Are you there, beloved? Can you agree with me, please? Hallelujah. So for those of you that have not yet accepted Yehushua, before I go into the prayer, say no to that. I'm going to tell you why God gave me this team saying no to that. Is because he said that many people are coming in agreement with that. When that speak to you, you come in agreement with that. You're not saying no to that. And, I, and, and that is very sad to see you agreeing with your enemy. So God says, this is a time when you must say no. When that say you're going to die, you must say no. According to Psalms 118, verse 17, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. Are you there, saints? So you Amen. must not come in agreement. You must always speak the opposite of what death is saying to you. Shout hallelujah in the mighty hallelujah. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Those of you who have not yet accepted Jesus before I go into the broadcast, can you just say this prayer? Minister Terrell from Jamaica, I welcome you. Hallelujah on this global platform and all other pastors, prophet, evangelist, bishop, pastors. Hallelujah. Evangelist again on all those from the fivefold ministry. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you and I thank God for your ministry. Thank God for your grace and thank God for you taking the time out to be a part of what we are doing here in the line of Judah Prophetic Worship Center. Now all the sinners, all the backsliders, hallelujah. You're welcome, Minister Terrell. I just ask that you will bow your head graciously and repeat these few words from your heart unto your Yahushua. Say this loud and clear. Dear Yahushua, Ama, Ashiach, Jesus Christ, 
I am a sinner, a wretched sinner, Lord. Forgive me of all my sins and come into my heart and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I believe the Yahushua Mashiach, that you died for my sin. I believe that God raises Jesus Christ from the dead. I know I accept Jesus Christ of Nazareth to be my Lord and my Savior. Lord, blot my name out of the book of death and engrave my name in the book of life. If you have said that, I honor you. God be the glory. Great things he has done. I thank God that you're coming into a new season and you will never be the same. Every one of us that is here on this platform, we start right there at the foot of the cross and the ground is level right there. Please find a Bible believing church that teach you the word of God. Hallelujah. And start your destiny into eternity. I am Apostle Doctor, Dr. Apostle Anake Israel, and this is the Line of Judah Prophetic Worship Center. If you feel a need to call me, you can find my relevant information on this YouTube broadcast. You can call, text, and I will direct you as the Spirit of the Lord leads me to. I want to start by having us repeat the team again. Say no to the spirit of death. Can you, can you legislate it? The team today is say no to the spirit of death. Say no. Can you say it once again? Say no to the spirit of death. Say no to the spirit of death. Amen. And so Amen. when why God will give us such a team like this? God wants us to be in disagreement with the spirit of death. To understand what God is saying, we must be able to demystify the word disagreement. The word disagreement is a normal part of our human interaction. We're individuals. We're individuals. Expresses differing in opinions, belief, or perspective or on a particular issue or topic. It can occur in various settings such as personal, relationship, professional, environmental, or public discussion. This agreement can arise due to difference in uh, values, experiences, knowledge, or impartation of facts or interpretation of facts. While this agreement can lead to conflicts, they can also be opportunity for learning growth and solving of problems. When disagreement is approached with respect, open-mindedness, and effective communication, resolving disagreement often involves active listening, empathy, compromise, or a willingness to understand and to appreciate diverse Viewpoints and opinion. We are here on a serious clarion call to disagree with that in all its ramification. Are you there? Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. In Psalms 1 18 and verse 17, we'll find the writer disagreeing with that, saying, I shall not die. But live and declare the works of the Lord. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 38, 1 to 7, we have a man that is called Ezekiah. In those days was Ezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus says the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Ezekiah turned his face towards the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. And I've done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiah wept sore. 
Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, Go and say to Ezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, Behold, I will add unto thee fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and the city out of the hands of the king of Assyria, and I will defend the city, and this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he has spoken. Somebody shout hallelujah, hallelujah in the name hallelujah. of Jesus Christ. Even though the death sentence of Ezekiah came from the Lord, Ezekiah turned his face to the wall and wept bitterly and fulfilled the kingdom protocol to regain his, his life span for its elongation. And that was repentance. Hallelujah. And God. Turn again and say, oh, I have acquitted you of your iniquity. I will add an additional 15 more years to you. That is a disagreement with that. How oh, can I die now, my Lord? How oh, can I go to the grave unfulfilled in the prime of my years? Forgive me, O oh Lord. Ezekiah was disagreeing with that. Are you there, saints of the Amen. Most High God? Right. Not negating that there are some people that have to die for you to live. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people have to be killed, be butchered, be wiped out, be annihilated for you to die, for you Amen. to live and not die. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The Amen. Categorically stated. In Isaiah 6, 1 to 7, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above Amen. him stood the seraphim, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with ten, twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cry unto another, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole church is filled of his glory. And the pole of the door move at the voice of him that cry it. And Amen. the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone. Because I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes, hallelujah, have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then the Bible says, then one of the seraphims, which is one of the angels of fire. These, these angels are the angels of sanctification and purification. The seraphimic angel came unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he has taken from the tongues of the altar, and he laid it on my mouth, and lo, he touched my lips, and said that iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of Yahushua, Isaiah. Needed to experience God, but Ezekiah was a prohibition, was a blockage. All Isaiah could see was King Ezekiah, even though he was a good king. Isaiah, the prophet, needed to have an interface with God without any third party. He needed to see God eyeball to eyeball. He needed to see him high and lifted up. He needed to see his sovereignty and his leadership. He needed to see the power of God. And he did not need to be blocked. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God say, say no to death. Death is prevailing now. But there's a day coming that there will be no debt. Revelation 21 verse 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from thine eyes. And there shall be no more 
debt, neither a sorrow, nor crying, neither shall be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. A shout, hallelujah. 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 Say no to debt. Matthew 10, 28 says, fear not them which killeth the body, but after that, they are not able to kill the soul. My God, but rather fear him that is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. Are you there, beloved? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God says, say no to death this morning. Romans 8, 11. But if the spirit of him that raises Jesus up from the dead dwell in you, he will raise us up from the dead and thou shalt also be quickened, for God will give you mortal body life. So if the spirit of death is in you, Martha Bosha, it's time to give that spirit of death an eviction notice. It must come out of your muscle, come out of your tissue, come out of your blood, come out of your body. That has no hallelujah victory over you until God says so. Are you there in the prophetic name of Yahushua Mashiach, Jesus, the anointed one? Then in Hosea chapter 3, verse 14, yes, spit it out with fire and thunder and say, I will ransom them from the power of the grave, I will redeem them. From death, oh death, I will be thy plague. Oh grave, I will be thy destruction. Repentance will be it from my eyes. Somebody say, God plague death in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when God wake me up this morning and say, you must never agree. Dead finance, no. Dead marriage, no. Dead ministry, no. Dead relationship, no. No death. You have no right in this. Are you there? Hallelujah. Dead ministry. Dead Hallelujah. Hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shut up. The hour is up and us. God say, if you don't fight, if you don't open your mouth and fight this morning, if the spirit of death cannot get to kill you, it will kill your business. It will Amen. kill your zeal. It will kill your prayer life. It will Amen. kill your biblical reading. It will Amen. kill your marriage, your ministry, your gifting, your calling. Am I a prophet a sign to the church? God. That is not just Hallelujah. one. Hallelujah. Minister Tyrell, can you give the Lord a Holy Ghost fire praise on this line? Minister Tyrell. Hallelujah. Mark Glory to God. 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 I want to God. pray. Mighty I want God. you to know definition <laughs> of death. Definition Jesus. of death. Hey. That <laughs> has many definitions. One of the definition of debt is to cease operation. Are you there? Hallelujah. I want to preach to the true ecclesia. I want to preach to those that God is giving a kingdom assignment. I want to speak to those who know that their time to die has not come. I want to speak Amen. to those that have been buttering 10 years, 15 Amen. years, 20 years, and now is the time that you're just getting a little breakthrough and the enemy wants yes, to Lord. kill you before you come manifest. On, come, you are come the on. one that God sent me for. This Hallelujah. You will not over you, you shall not die. There will be no agreement with death. That will be an all. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. In the name of your children, I in the mighty name of Hallelujah. Jesus. I agree. I agree. Jesus. Hallelujah. You will not go into that casket 
When I receive you, rest in peace. Are you there, somebody? I receive you. Hallelujah. Yeah, Club. That is the permanent yep, sensation Lord. of all biological mm. function that yes. sustains a living organism. It is mm. typically characterized by the absence of vital signs such as heartbeat, brain activity, and breathing. That mm. is a natural cause. Now, that is a neutral and inevitable part of life hallelujah oh. but you can have a, a dead yes. hallelujah marriage that is yes. not just your physical mm -hmm. death you can have a dead marriage a dead anointing a yes. dead ministry a yes. dead marriage a dead relationship a I dead agree. finance a I dead agree. academical holy bosha you can suffer hallelujah it's in Post your control. hand. One finger can die. One Jeez. eye can die. The Hallelujah. brain can die. One kidney can oh. die. One feet can die. One hand can die. The Amen. eye can die. That Amen. comes many. Hallelujah. Variation to it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So when yes, I call hallelujah. the apostolic team, say no to that. I mean, in every ramification of your life, nothing around me shall die. In the mighty the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ. That yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. Won't you yes, shout Lord. hallelujah on this global platform in the name hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, it's in the name like, of Jesus. Yes, ah, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. So the nice strong man from death. Uh, mm. I come come to Bira yesterday while praying for her. I saw what we were praying like a mad prophet. She was praying for me and I was praying for her. When I oh. opened my eyes, I saw a white casket coming out of the second heaven. I said, there's a casket here. Every casket devil, your body will not be, hallelujah, accommodation for graveyard. Am I on the right line? Amen. 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 I blood pressure will not see you. The blood Amen. is one of the potent weapons to fight against the spirit of God. That Revelation 12, 11, this is an irate of spiritual power. Yes, when you plug into the socket of the blood, you have dominion in all frequency and realm. Just yes. like the blood, you're going to function yes. with the unction of touch me not yet until yes, the time. Hallelujah. Are you there? I in the fire mighty fire name of Jesus Christ, all the many people are but getting so um, much spiritual yes. attack uh, that they're mm. going to the grave untimely. Go oh. and look in the graveyard. Oh. They are oh. full to capacity oh. and more accommodation has to be made. Now bodies are going on top of bodies. Hello! <laughs> and many of the people that are dying, they are dying prematurely. I am yes. here as an Interceptor, that yes. demonic, You're diabolical, hallelujah, attack upon your yeah. life, hallelujah. They want to get you to agree with the spirit of death. Oh God, this thing has been coming at me for so long. Am I going to die every month, every week? Something is telling me that I'm yeah. going to die. It looks like I'm going to die. God said, do not agree. For no. if you agree with it, it shall come to pass. It no. will be established. Somebody say, I'm not in agreement with that. I am not in agreement, in agreement with that. I'm not, not in any agreement with death. I will never be in agreement with death. I'm not in any agreement with death. That, that, that demonic power, I am here to tell you this, that demonic power is after your destiny. Uh, I see 28 people on this line. All of a sudden, the enemy just cut you. He, he, it's like he is having no rest. He just want to kill you. Satan uh, just want to Kill you. Who are the person that is online? The enemy just wants to 
killing. He just wants to take you out. No matter how you pray, there is just an assignment Hallelujah. of horrific power trying to kill you. You don't even know where some of them is coming from, but something wants to take you out. Who is that person? That the one. spirit yeah. of death? Yeah. 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 Mighty Mighty I'm sure that just go first down the line. Yeah. Yes. I am here. I am here. I can hear them. I can hear them. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, why do you think we leave the team? We spend the other day, couple of days, praying against cancer in the spirit of death. I know God is saying they gone back. This time they are doing blood ritual to make sure uh. you die. Ah, somebody mm. rise up in anger. I can't say every blood I, ritual over oh, my life. Clever, I shall not be a some of you make plans, but you will never live to execute the plans. You got to command debt out of your body. That must come out by fire in the name of Jesus. It's not time to die. It's Amen. time to Amen. accelerate Amen. into yes. new realms of glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. God say to me, listen, please, if you can identify with what I'm saying, don't hesitate to let mm. me know that I am the one of the one. Some of you, you have been suffering from the Craig God. Huh? Mm. I know mm. God just want to do something new with you. And yes. the enemy after you to kill yes. you. Amen. There is a cryptic assignment Amen. to kill you. I can Amen. feel the spirit of death. And we Amen. must challenge it. The spirit so, of death must come up and out of you. It must Amen. release Amen. the place Amen. in your life that it Amen. has no longer. Hallelujah. Incarcerated. Hallelujah. 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 There's some of us on this line that the spirit of death, hallelujah, those that are planning to kill you, they are looking, checking out your page, watching you day and night yes. to see, hallelujah, if there's any obituary announcement to say such and yes. such a person is dead, are you dear beloved, yes. Yes. no agreement with death, Hallelujah. God is no not agreeing, so you should not be in agreement with that either, are you there beloved? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Mighty God, mighty God. The characteristic of the killer is depicted mm -hmm. in John 10 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. What did yeah. it say? Come to the thief comes no to agree. kill, to I'm steal, to and to destroy. To destroy. When Amen. they take away your life, it is done. That's it. A dead lion, a dead, a dead lion has nothing more to do. They said a live dog is better than a dead lion. Mm -hmm. It's better you stay alive than you die and you did not fulfill your I purpose. Agree. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you what God shows me. Number one, you must take your name out of the debt register. Hallelujah. I agree. That demonic registration that have your name written it must be blotted out by yes. thunder, agree. by fire hallelujah I agree holy spirit yes, uh, let the torment and fire the God. devil will continue to pursue you if you don't ask God to erase your name from the archives of death the yes, computer Lord. that they have the, 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 the registration of death erase my name from the register right, can you pray now over you and your mm. children oh God erase my name oh, from God. the death I'm register erase my name from the register of death 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Erase my name from death. Let's again call out all of you who I'm seeing. All right, all right, let me look on this. Child of God, the spirit of death. I agree. I agree. The spirit of death. Hallelujah. Minister Terrell, the spirit of death is after you too. Samson, Samson 911, you, I can't even call out. Blessed, the spirit of death is after you. Hallelujah. Carolyn, the spirit of death is after you. Claudia, death is after you. Diana, that is after you. Gavin, that is after you. Glory child, that is after you. Rampal, that is after you. Debbie, the spirit of death. Mer, death. Hallelujah. The spirit of death. The spirit of death. I can see it. That's why God wake me up this morning. Run to your home. Spirit of death. Root out of my land. Root out of my neighborhood. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Amen. This Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to call you. Because there will be a confirmation. When God has given a word. We are not here to prophesy a lie. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice. You have been battling the spirit of death. Amen. The fear Amen. of death. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Your testimony. Hallelujah. 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 To call your name. Sure. Just to say, this is what I am experiencing. This is this the trick that I'm experience. getting. Can you come on, I'm I'm you come on the yes. camera and tell us what's going on? Jesus. That is the truth, woman of God. Everything you said, I've seen it um, in my dreams. The Lord has revealed it, and I've felt it. I've been battling. It's been for a while. Yes, the demonic assignments. Yes. yes. You are right. And you did tell me that before. You were one. A thousand percent right. I've been battling. Number one, what God wants you, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to buy blood tonic. They are trying to suck your blood and to drain your blood. Whoever yes. is after you want you to be paralyzed from the waist yes. down. Yes. To stay in a para. I saw they want to put you in a wheelchair. Rapper yes. Satan. Yes. But let me tell you something, any chiropractor that you're going to go to, make sure that person is anointed because I see they're going to come to a chiropractor. Oh, you are a thousand percent accurate. Yes. Because I go to one and I keep feeling that. Yes. And even last week, I, uh, I said, no, I'm not. Because that's what they're doing. You are 1,000% right. Yes. Can I tell you what I see? Mm. <laughs> the chiropractor is a kundalini priest. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah. So you are, you are, you are, you are doing yes. various things like, you even do, I see you doing like this, something with your back, your lower back. Yeah. Yes. Can yes. you tell us what's going on with your lower back? Because this is a prophetic ministry of the Lion of Judah. Yes. Can you tell us what's oh, going yes. on with you? Oh, oh, my God. It's sometimes it's Jesus it Christ. So painful. Mm -hmm. It feels like Boom. something is twisting me and taking me and pushing me over. And there's this constant um, pain or stiffness. It's just really, really definitely demonic. Yeah. So you All right, this is what I see. The thing is not only, you know what it want to do? The thing is going up in your back like this. And it, it's, it, this is where it rests right now. Yeah, sometimes I you have You see, anytime right it hits your brain, anytime it hits your brain, you're going to find like, you're going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to hear a lot of little sounds. They, they, there's a there's a perceptive acoustic of the seer that will be open, but that is not the right one. That is the mm. third eye chakra mm. that they want to open. So the My Kundalini God. is enforcing My itself God. through chiropractor for you. I'm not My a God. medical doctor. And I'm making a disclaimer. God. I'm not saying yes. that all chiropractor. You are right. are yes, I'm not you saying right. that. For my that's what I'm situation, seeing. You are a thousand percent right. That's all yes. I did. That's yeah, and and thank God for that confirmation because um, so a lot what of the, times what the Lord said to me, 
Yes. The Lord said to me, whatever is coming after you want the old base of the spine to make yes. you paralyzed so you can't go. Yes. I actually saw them. First thing I saw, they give you a stick and I grabbed the stick out. Then they want to put you in a wheelchair. Uh-huh. So we got that is the spirit of death in operation. Hallelujah. Yes. It, you're going to see what God do for you before this broadcast is over. Yeah. Those that are having yeah. attacked from the spirit of death, can you share with us? Because that's what God told me yes. this morning. Go ahead. Yes. Um, I remember when I was driving and um yes. I saw like three black birds just flew down my car, boom. And the car hit him. I've never seen a car hit three black birds before. And they were all dead. You know? And then I remember at my old job, you know, um, all my joints, all my joints was like swollen and I couldn't even walk up, walk up the stairs, you know? So it, it, it's, 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 listen, <laughs> I don't even have time to see all the stories I have to tell you this morning. Cause I remember last week, um, you were telling me about all the attacks and the females and the whole bunch of stories you were telling me, you know? So, um, it's, it's, it's it's just but you look like a total stuff. different man this morning after this staring at you wondering if this is the sugar boy that we saw the last <laughs> time it's like God do a, a, a quick thing in you says <laughs> does does he not look different today yes he, he does does look, look different, look different. Yes. 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 to see if it was the yes. same person after this staring at him like so oh. what I see God like, there's a great business you're going to open. You're going to, I see you traveling to UK. I saw you tra traveling to Canada, UK. There's a whole heap of, of stuff that you're going to do. But one of the greatest business, can, can I see you face to face, that God has called you to is to open a car business where you're going to be shipping parts of vehicles from Japan and different nations of the world. And so that is something that I see pending in the realm of the spirit that God is getting ready to bring that into fruition. You are not going to be slaving on menial jobs and stuff. God have a company that you will give birth to, sir. If you are faithful to God, you will see every word come into fruition by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Next Glory person. I see there's something that God has given you unique lead to do with you know trade uh, trading of vehicles and stuff you're gonna have a business that does trading of vehicles selling of vehicle and selling um vehicle parts nissan and different kind of vehicle parts use parts and stuff and i saw that there will be a mechanical part of it but you will hire these mechanic to work not yeah. that you will be doing the job yourself amen god bless you sir next person yeah. I am here. Tell me what you feel when the spirit of death attack you, please. No person talking at the same time. Because we want to do this aggressively this morning. When we when we start to cry unto the Lord, saints, saints, please, when I when I get this thing, the spirit of death. Show me itself. And I know that if we don't pray, somebody's going to go out. In my group yesterday, I begin to send fire point that is geared against the spirit of death. Oftentimes, people have a lot of plans and they don't know that death is at the door. So it's important that while you're planning and strategizing and putting things in the right perspective, you must also pray that you live earlier to fulfill all these things that you're planning to execute. Next person, go ahead, Bilal. Go ahead, Miss Minister Boyd. It was just yesterday after we came from off the line from prayer, I began to feel so sick yeah. and I, I could feel the, the evidence where the enemy wants to take me out. Even last night, I had a restless yes. night. It's like I was just grasping for breath. I, I, I felt as if I was suffocating. I was trying I mean, to call him to pray for you because the Lord showed me like, like, like a a anaconda, like a serpent, wrap you on the breast area. You understand? To cause yes. you to, like asthma, like asthma yes. attack. Yes. That is what I saw. So that is the spirit of death. But what the spirit of death wants to do, it wants to raise up back all affliction. Amen. 
Is that so when you say, oh, my asthma. Yes, so you, like you, you're agreeing with it. All right, you're going to get deliverance this morning. Continue Amen. to talk. I'm listening. And I was so restless. Yeah. I so I see that, that they were... I get up so many times, I turn, I toss. I didn't know how to place my, to position myself. And it's like my voice literally was going. I had to force yes. my voice to, sound to come out of my mouth. It was so gross yes. that I, I, like want I, this I, could literally, line. I could literally feel death haunting me. Death overshadowing me. Yes. But I did not say anything to my daughter. Yes. I was just there struggling with it, struggling with it, struggling with it. And um, you put um, a YouTube channel that you did, and I, I lied on there, and I was just, I couldn't even agree. I was just there listening, 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 listening to it. I could not agree with nothing because it's like I, I, I didn't have the breath to really say anything, not even amen. So yes. this morning I woke up. Um, so that's that your experience with the spirit of death. Yes. Yeah. This morning so, I woke so, up. So when you wake up, what happened? You said? Well, this morning when I wake up, yes. it's like I was saying to my daughter, it come let me I feel pain all over my body. But then I don't know, everything yes. just disappear. It's just my, my, my voice don't Amen. really come back fully. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of death. So we're going to pray. You see, I like when God give me a word. There must be a confirmation. And it can be one confirmation. So many people are under the onslaught of the spirit of death. Is there anyone else that experienced Good afternoon, like Apostle. Good afternoon, my daughter. God yeah, bless hallelujah. you, beloved. God bless you, Mama. Yes, um, yesterday while I was in the car, I feel like I was like um, spinning, like when you want to dizziness. Yes. And I and I begin to drink the blood and eat the fire of the Holy Ghost. But yes. since Friday, I was feeling like um a pain um under my chest, like it went to my neck. But you give us a you give, I had a prayer point for you for a long time. Um and I always I always pray it. So now I went back to that prayer point again. So then when I start praying it, I it is a 30 prayer point. So when I start praying it Saturday, I start feeling better. But mm -hmm. yesterday when I was in the car, I feel like my foot is moving. Like I feel like dizziness. So I did not know what a feeling was coming from. So I was so just drinking the blood and eating the, the fire of the Holy Ghost. So, so you are right when you called my name and told me. I didn't yeah, know it was the spirit of death, the but spirit. I knew. It doesn't matter how deeply interwoven. The spirit of death is trying to get into us, into your children. I know that when God gave me a prophetic word, it is because he's already gone ahead to deliver the saints. Amen. I believe it and I agree so with it. The only, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you must pray the prayer point this morning that I'm going to give as if your life depends on it. And watch that come out of your blood, your muscle, your tissue, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your kidney. It's going to go back to the manufacturer of that dead wish. Who is the next person? Share with us what happened. Morning. The uh, of good morning. Good morning. So I yes. too good morning. experienced that. And um, I realized that, you know, whenever time I go deeper in prayer, intercession, or even, yes. um, you know, bring persons through deliverance, I, I come under attack. Yeah. This under attack. And, um, as as the sister rightfully says, at night times I have to embrace myself with you know more than one pillars. And I remember one night I felt as though my heart, my lungs was literally shut off, and I had to rise up and I said, God, no, not this time, not this way. I will not succumb because I've not finished my man my mandate with you. And I rise up and it, it took me a while before I, I went back to sleep. And I realize this pattern as well. Whenever time um, I'm not operating business, everything will be okay. But as soon as I start, clients start to call in and make an appointment, everything just starts to, to go AY. Uh, I'm a hairdresser by profession. And, you know, if um, something will happen with my fingers, 
And then, you know, something happened with machineries and just things just start to happen. And I just have to stop and, and just start to speak to the elements around me. So after truth, as you mentioned, things will be okay. And now is the time for your breakthrough. I remember one, one, one weekend I have to cancel after, after having a week before without, you know, not enough clients. I have to cancel at least four customers. And I said, God, this thing ought not to be so. And I realized that the enemy, he wants to box me in. He wants to box me in. I can go thus far and no more. And offer through the enemy really attack. And literally, as I said before, whenever time I pray for persons, I press get the deliverance and a breakthrough. Sometimes I have to call my daughter. Are you okay? Because I know that the enemy will send lesions if it's not my business, my family, and, and even after my health. So what you said is true perfectly well this morning. So what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit is that someone wants you not only to come out of business, but they want you to come out by death. Yes, yes. Whoever is assaulting you, they don't yeah. want you to be a rivalry. Yeah. They don't want you to be a competitor. So they want to kill you and shut you down. But can I tell you that you're getting ready to establish another branch of business? Amazing. Well, God shows me that yeah. you're going to go into products. Raka yeah. Satabaha. There yeah. is a product company like they're, they're, from makeup to ear to cosmetic to different things that you'll be doing is also going to be an extension of a new branch. Yeah. Are you receiving that word? In Amen. The name of Yushua, Amen. And that the is. Lord says, don't get too comfortable because I've called you to travel nations. And the Lord oh, said, I've put an excellent spirit in you and the spirit that is in you is actually for media. Mm -hmm. God right. says for media. So you're working with a lot yeah. of new people that is coming, like even people from the dance hall. And don't, yeah. don't limit your business only to Christians because yes. God has also called you to work with the secular world. Are you there, yeah. beloved? Yes, I'm right. I see God is giving you a lot of people from the secular industry. That's and right. they are going to pioneer with you. Yeah. I see your business. Eva, 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 Prime Minister's wife will be coming yeah. to you. For, yes. for, 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 uh, you're going to do a, a lot of things different. Yes. Appointment, 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 yeah. appointment. Raku yes. Sata. I see God also. Where are you located? Where are you located? In the Kingston area. Kingston, Jamaica. Do, and do you know that I'm seeing something to do with ligony? Because God wants to give you a new face. We're different people from I different always, walks of life. I always said I always said I want to venture out of the norm. I always said that. Right. Yeah, I'm seeing ligony. I'm seeing, even though it's a little pricey in the new Kingston era, but I am mm. seeing some kind of people and some class of people. That they yes. are coming from the government, the they are coming from Absolutely the private correct. sector, they are coming from yes. the public sector, they are coming from different walks. It's like a different class that of is people. True. So that very is soon, true. God is going to just use that it to delegate at the, at the, at the branch because that's your suffering point. And yes, you yes. have learned a lot of things that when you go into the extended branch, yes. you will flow so meticulously into mm. the vision and the burden of people. God also called you to teach. Yeah, Jesse, yeah. did you know that? I, I thought about it as well. I thought about it as well. Yeah, the Lord said, upgrade your cutting yeah. skill because you will be a teacher, says yes. the Father. Amen. Right. Next Thank person, we're going to pray against that. Who is the next person Amen. that I've been experiencing that? Yes, hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, yesterday, I, had, um, I was sitting down eating and out yeah. of nowhere, I felt a, a pulsating pain on the right side under my uh, my groin area. And it was just pulsating pain out of nowhere. And I remember the prayer point you gave us. And I just speak it. I said, tormenting angels of the Lord, go into my body and torment my tormentors. I repeated that a few times in Apostle. 
as there is a God, the pain just disappear. It never came back. So I know, you know, the enemy's after me. So I'm using the prayer points to torment them as they show up. So that's my testimony. I was I was very shocked. I didn't even realize that. It, I said, oh, my God, it worked. But I didn't say nothing out loud because I didn't want the <laughs> enemy to hear me. <laughs> but I was so happy. I was like, whoa, it worked. I said, torment my tormentors. Torment them. Yes. And it just disappeared. The pain just disappeared, Apostle. And it that prayer point was given to me. That prayer point was given to me by the Lord himself. So it's not like Amen. you can go into a book and find it. The Lord said to me, when they come to torment you, you must call an yes. angel of the Lord. And the angel of yeah. torment of the Lord to go. I pray different from you. This is how I prayed. I said, oh God, arise Amen. and release an angel of the Lord. 100 million legions of angels of torment to go into the body of my tormentor and kill them. Bam. Yeah. They just leave Amen. me like that. Amen. Amen. So we're going to pray. And that is that is a testimony and not just a prior um, um, evaluation of what's happening. Amen. Is there anyone else? Um, can you do it more expeditious so we don't kill the fire? Because I have to pray. Good morning. Fire Apo Good morning, Good morning. Hallelujah. Um, when you talk about the spirit of death, um, it is real because... From the other day, I'm a person like this. I'm very lively. I get up early in the morning. I'm just like yes. I'm energized, a bunny. But I have no energy from the other day. Um, I yes. just want to lay in the bed. I just want to lay down. I just don't want to do anything. And when the spirit of death is upon you, it's not just like you're under attack to die physically. Everything else is also yes. dead. Your finances. Um, That's your what, health yes. is dead, your marriage is dead, your business is dead, everything is dead. Are you meeting? You're always meeting in constant accidents, even when you're driving very fearfully. Like you have your car, every minute your car is breaking down, something is going bad. Every every time it's just something, your money has depleted. So, you know, when the spirit of death and those things are the things that are happening to me. So, you know, I know that that I'm dealing with that. How long, so. how long now are you noticing that the spirit of, because so they can put the spirit of death to punish a person um, because you're anointed and you are always in the realm of prayer. The spirit of death may not get an occasion to kill you. But there are other things around it that you may not have been looking in terms of that this is just that this is not just an attack, but this is also an invasion of the spirit of death. We may have been just focusing on our general life, our individual life, our physical life, and not looking around the things around us, my ministry, my marriage, my destiny, my yes, finance. Yes, those things too, yes. Your so what I hear God marriage. says to me is that whoever is attacking is using the spirit of death to punish you. Hallelujah. So when I when I call out the prayer point against the spirit of death, the strong man of death, dead personality, you must say it with fire and thunder this morning in the name of Jesus. Are we there? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Amen. name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone else this morning? We're going to do it Good quickly. Morning. Good morning, Apostle. You seen me? No, but you can talk. You remember the prayer points that you pray about any assassin assigned to kill me? Um, will God arise and kill them before they kill me? <clears throat> Apostle? Yes. Pray you give me that prayer point, I think about two weeks ago, and the one that I soak my head and my body in the blood of Jesus and I eat the flesh of the Lord and they. And the blood of Jesus Christ. Apostle, may I tell you, when the feeling them come over my body, that is the same prayer points that I use 
And so even now, when I tell you about my incident that I went to the hospital and find out about the gallstone, that is the same prayer point I've been still using. And I pass when I go to my bed and get the dream where the monitoring spirit come or the familiar spirit come, they just standing and looking. They can't touch me. They don't say anything because I'm using that prayer point. So any Shout out to hallelujah, someone. Hallelujah. <laughs> Any assassin yes. assigned to kill me, Lord, kill them before they kill me. And the one that says, I saw my head and the blood, even the one that says so the serpent under my feet and so, I use those prayer points. When I hear was talking about the spirit of death, I said, yes, and your prayer point is really powerful. And I give thanks to your woman of God. Amen. So what do you know what God allow you to see? Huh? Yes, I There's possible. a mystery in the dream that God allow you to see that you need to expound of that. God yeah. allowed you to see that because you are not just receiving the word of the prophet, but you're applying the principle, God yes. allowed you to see that the enemy cannot touch you. Yes. yes. That's what we saw come. in the dream. The weapon formed, but they did not prosper. They yes. come to look to see if they can give you a stab. But because your prior edges were up. They were yes. just looking, wondering what next to do. I yes. need someone to shout hallelujah, hallelujah. on this line. Next person. We're going to pray. Good morning, Apostle. All right, somebody said hello from Jamaica. Let's give her a chance. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning, we're hearing you, beloved. Apostle, good morning. Jamaica, we're hearing you. I'm coming, beloved. All right, go ahead. So, Apostle, um, my father right now is the main person that I noticed the enemy is attacking with the spirit of death because um, my father keeps experiencing high blood pressure on and off, going to the hospital on and off, diabetes on and off. And he can't even, and he's having like some type of attack in his mind to the point where he feels like he's about to have a stroke. So if it doesn't, if the, and if the spirit of death doesn't get to you, to me, he'll try to attack one of my family members or even my father. All right. So we're going to pray and cancel out that this morning. Hallelujah. So you just got to stand in proxy for your dad this morning. Amen. Next person, yes. please. Let's keep it going. Telephone oh, Anthony is so good morning. Jamaica wants to say something. Go ahead, beloved Jamaica. Um, yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes, uh, my first time on your program. Welcome. You know, I have this encounter and I'm wondering what it means. Go ahead. And it, it's on two separate occasions. I went to my bed. And I had this vision seeing this lady. She walked towards me, but it's somebody in Jamaica. She walked towards me with some dirt in her hand. And when she walked towards me with the dirt in her hand, I saw this tall man walk before me. And she threw down the dirt and kissed her teeth and walked away. All right. So the dirt represents a spiritual burial. But well, whoever is there, like an angelic being, uh, prohibit her not, they prohibit her. She could not, that's why she is her teeth out of frustration because she could not continue. I'm hearing something else in the spirit. I, I, the Lord is saying something that is like somebody supervising you, somebody's watching you. To, to, to really onslaught, there's an onslaught of sickness. They want to put a sickness on your body. So whatever she come to do with dirt, that has to do with necromancy and the underworld. She was not able to perform her enterprise because the angel of the Lord lift a standard. That's why you saw that man and it causes her not to fulfill her enterprise. Next person. Can you tell us the next? Okay, go ahead. And I saw the same lady, but it's like she had a store. And I saw somebody walk into the store. But the person that walked into the store, she's all dressed in white. All dressed in white, you know, like she just like, you know, all the dressed in Jamaica with this white thing cover your head when you're going to church. 
All right, I want to say this based on, I want to say this. Um, the Bible said, marvel not that Satan even transform himself as an angel of light. So what I see in the realm of the spirit is that there's a conspiracy to take you out. And if you see a same, if you see a person that is pursuing you, and you see the same person showing up more than one time, it means the pursuer is still on your trail because they have not fulfilled their enterprise. There is a, a serious chance that they will not relent until they have accomplished something. So you need to you need to pray against conspiracy of darkness. Those that are planning in their secret place to take you out, whatever they are planning to do to your health to your well-being and ask the Lord to remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? Mm -hmm. But sickness is the major thing they want to put on you. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. All right, so we're going to pray. I'm going to take four more person now and so we can rush to the prayer because this prayer is going to be brutal this morning. Hello, somebody. Four more person. <clears throat> Explain to us what you're sensing. Where the spirit of death. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Prophet. Good morning, beloved. I didn't realize it was the spirit of death, but I tell you, yes. when yesterday morning in particular, and oh, by the way, I've been dreaming. Every morning I've been dreaming different numbers, like different phone numbers. Yes. And I get up and I write them down. I write these numbers down. I'm like, why am I dreaming these numbers? Why am I dreaming? But anyway, that's, you know. Um, so I got up and I said, you know, I have to, I have to clean up this place and I have to, you know, it's Sunday and you know what I do the Sunday routine. And it's like, I had to stop ever so often. This feeling came over me. Like I couldn't, I, like I was going to fall down and I had to stop doing what I'm doing. I had to sit down on the chair and I had to wait like a few minutes and then start over. And that was just a routine yesterday morning. I'm cleaning, but I have to, I, I what every time I get going, I get this feeling like, like I'm going to faint or something like that. And then I have to stop and sit down and mm. before I can continue again. But do you know that anybody want to use it as a sacrifice? They will not be able to fulfill their enterprise. You have oh, walked yeah. through this already and God calls you to overcome. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. have walked through worse scenario where you are literally paralyzed. And I've yes. prayed for you online and God give yes. you back your things. So whoever wants to use you as a sacrifice, you will not be somebody's meal. You got to be watchful in this season in the name of Jesus. That's the spirit of death trying to creep upon you in the name mm. of Jesus. Hallelujah. But when we start to send back the arrow of death, whoever is behind this, you will hear about it. Next person. Huh? Hallelujah. Yes. Good morning, Apostle. Go ahead, beloved. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, beloved. Good morning. The thing uh, that I've been experiencing is um, high blood pressure. Don't care how much yes. medication I take. It won't go down. And then I realized it started messing up my sinuses. My whole entire face would like pain. And it feel like something eating out my face. I know what is that. That is a reptilian. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, Apostle. I'm going to give you a prayer point that you prayed five days. I'm going to send it to you. And that eater of flesh, reptanoid, laser toy, that is actually in your brain and this and here, trying yes, to Apostle. eat you. Down. That is why no matter how you're on the medication for the high blood pressure, it won't check. It but won't I want, I will question. send you. Are you there, beloved? Yes, Apostle, I'm here. I will send you something in your inbox that along with that, you take one of it. Let's see them. Find yes, that. By tomorrow morning, you will come on this line and testify that your blood hallelujah. pressure is normal. Shout Thank hallelujah. You, hallelujah. In the name hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Next person. Uh, greetings, Apostle. Greetings, beloved. I'm hearing you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm constantly under attack. Just want to take the life out of me. This morning, three times. Uh, I don't know. I pray I fast, but I just don't know what. Who am I talking to, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't come. Jasper. 
And do you know why? You, 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 you leave the place of prayer, Jasmine. This kind of prayer that is needed for you to escape the spirit of death, that they are programmed to take you out by the end of November. I see a major attack. Hallelujah, coming on the 16th of that month. God said you will not be able to recover if you don't go into aggressive prayer against the spirit of death and terminal illness. The, the, the affliction that I see them gonna they're trying to put on you something to for you to die suddenly. You'll be driving and black out and going to collusion with another vehicle, and that's the end of you. But God say he's gonna intercept yes. that death sentence in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. God is gonna hallelujah. intercept that death sentence in the name of Jesus. The next person, please. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Good yes, morning, so Apostle. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good bless morning, you, Apostle. Good God morning, bless you darling. and everyone on the line. I was yes. uh, trying to inbox you uh, on a couple days ago on the call. Yes. I was praying with you and the saints, but I had to go into the salon. And yes. the building that I work in, the people who own the building own a crystal and uh, spiritual tool store right next door yeah and so i had been i had been um struggling in my spirit with continuing to work in this building but right now it's the only place that i have to do hair i'm a beautician as well and so i think i messaged you and i showed you that i told you that a dead bird was at the front door and so i was mm -hmm. I, at first fear tried to come upon me and i said lord the blood of jesus and i remembered the prayer that you gave me about the dragon spirit and I said, I, you know, yes. I know that I've been repenting about being rebellious in some areas of my life, about my prayer life. And so since I've been back on the call with you, my prayer life has rekindled glory to God. And so I thank God. So I came home and I noticed that my dad's face, he's a dialysis patient. His face has started to swell. And so I, I prayed, I pled the blood of Jesus over him. But last night. I asked him, he said, he came in and he said his head was hurting now. So I said, oh no, it's trying to escalate. And I said, oh no, hallelujah, God, you be glorified. This is not it. And I said, daddy, I said, do you believe that Jesus died on the cross? <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> He's 76. <laughs> he said, I said, daddy, do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? He said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I said, well, if you believe today, I believe Jesus can take that headache away and he can make that swelling go down in your face. This morning when he woke up, his eyes weren't swollen. He still got a little bit here. And I'm praying now that it just all go away. And by the blood of Jesus, he's on dialysis machine as we speak. So I'm just believing God. But just like the other saints on the call, ever since about 2016, I've been attacked. As soon as I opened my first salon, this is about the time when you and I first met. I had opened my salon. You had prophesied to me that people were going to ask me about skincare and that I was going to have a multi-million dollar business. And I kept pushing towards doing that. I, I still hold that word to be true in my heart. But as soon as I opened my salon, I got divorced because the husband that I had was was not of God. And also, oh, my God, she, she got disconnected. Amen. The, the, the line is very odd this morning, very interesting. So what God allow us to see is the functionality of the spirit of death in different Areas of our life, not just physical debt, but also financial debt, man, marital debt, ministerial debt, destiny under attack by the spirit of debt, health under attack by the spirit of debt, lungs debt, brain debt, heart debt. And so we're going to fight this morning and our prayers will be heard in the courts of heaven. I want to give her an opportunity to come back because I am seeing so much breakthrough on her head she said her prayer life was dying but since she came back on this prayer call her prayer life will what was recalibrated so god began to tell me something that you should look for out for some of you can be caged by the spirit of death where the spirit of death is doing what i call the slow kill it's a gradual 
annihilation, not just a drastic one. And so your life going down the drain, your health going down the drain, you feel exhausted, you feel caged, you feel trapped. You always feel isolated. You want to stay by yourself. Hallelujah. If you're feeling that, that is also another, another face of the spirit of death. Hallelujah. All right. So she's back on. Beloved, we are giving you an opportunity to finish what you're saying before we go into aggressive prayer against the spirit of death this morning. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Sister Kimia, go ahead. The blood of Jesus. I, I said, uh, I was saying that. Before you um, came up, the Lord, the Lord was giving me a prophecy. Um, Sister Kimia, you're going to formulate a hoil. It is going to renew um, the cells of persons, deal with cuticles, people who have deep problem with their cuticles, even blackhead going down inside of them. God says you are going to formulate a product that is going to be a vitamin C based product, an organic based product, a mineral based product that is going to be in high demand. Hallelujah. And even now I'm looking at your skin and you look at least 16 years younger than when I just Bless met you. you. Yes. <laughs> oh, and God. I'm saying, Thank you, Jesus. You don't look like the same person. So I don't know what you're using and you need to just share um, the, 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 the recipe with us as soon as you can. But the focus is that God has called you to be that CEO of that global um, thing that God is doing. Your gifting will not allow you just to sit down in a saloon. You're also going to be manufacturing things. Hallelujah. And, and, and I don't want you to regulate things just a natural base because God wants to ensure that you still keep the clients that going through the transition of process here into natural here. You understand? Because most of your people are still process here people. God says he's going to lift the curse and you are not going to relocate. You're going to stay there as a sign and a wonder unto them. They're going to fight you, but they will not be able to overcome you. One of them is going to ask you questions about your spirituality. And the day that they do not, you will know that you have gone to a higher level of promotion. The caging is what you need to deal with. Every power that comes to cage your finances and even attack the client flow. So client will not, you know, consistently come to the business. That is also the operation of the spirit of death. So we're going to ask God to silence that. And as for your father, God has given him as a precious gift to you. Hallelujah. The anointing that is in you is conducive for what is going through. And you can command that spirit to leave his body. God said you can command it to leave his body in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God is One more thing, healing. Apostle. I'm sorry to interject, but not only did the, the spirit of death attack my dad, but this at the same time, I had to close my shop because I was literally traveling from one hospital two hours apart because at the same time, my daddy had a stroke and they discovered two cancers in his body that he was healed from. At that same time, my 16-year-old son at the time was attacked in his mind with uh, psychosis a drug-induced psychosis. So I was literally, I mean, to the point where I was so tired that I even got sick in my body with shingles. So the house was under attack so heavily in 2016. And so I've been praying my way through and I've been asking the Lord, what is it that he wants me to do? Because every time I get on the brink of starting something with a new idea or starting a new business, it seems like they the enemy attacks my father and my son, my youngest son. So that's what the area where I want to be specific so with be the prayer. Whatever covenant, whatever covenant that prohibiting your success is tied to your son and your father, you can break that covenant. Yeah, you can. Some people don't see it the way you see it. Some people is that every time they are to get a breakthrough, something come that deplete their finance. That's another phase of debt because it always wants to keep you in a demonic realm and bondage that you cannot accelerate to a new realm. So what you need to do, know that God shows you every time you are to do something to elevate yourself, something that will make you more successful. 
your father under attack, your son under attack. Break the covenant that is associated with your father and your son that wants to limit or marginalize your success and progress in life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You're welcome. Next person, we want to do just two more prayers before we go into prayer. Please. Yes, I just want to register my um my constant um bombardment by the spirit yes. of death. Yes. And it, it's a constant and daily fight. But God has been faithful and it's can't hear what you're saying. It muffling up. Bubba, 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 bubba. Heart and the brain. So, I mean, yes, yes. You have to take out the data of that. Like the heart and the brain. So you can't, you can't function. So death has been pursuing constantly. Amen. I hear you loud and clear. Well, it's yes. time to pursue death and to drive it yes, out of your body. You must yes. be aggressive yes. and yes. unrelenting, even as death is pursuing you and it will not stop until you die. Every time I think about the spirit of death, I think about the movie, The Terminator, with Arnold yes. Schwarzenegger. I always have that in the back of my mind and say something will not give up until something dies. So the spirit of death will not stop until either you die or you execute the judgment written against it. Hallelujah. In Amen. Psalms 118, yes, verse yes. 17, that was our biblical quotation this morning. And we talk about Ezekiah. We talk about in the book of um, Uzziah when God said, I will plague death. So God has his word and his word is real. So when, when death come yes. against you, from the time I know you and death has been pursuing you, you're still not dead. The yes, reason why you're not dead beautiful. is because every time that come, you lift a standard. And that, that is the training that God is giving you to keep you until either the enemies die or they back up and leave you. You will never have a ceasefire until they go down. Hallelujah. They yes. will always look new ways and new strategies and how to re-attack, re-engage, reinstall. That's why I tell Christian, you never get quiet. Anytime you see it's all quiet, you initiate the war. Because sometimes they are yes. there just waiting on an opportunity to strike. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name oh, of Jesus. God. The reason why you are not dead is not just because God loves you. He loves those that are dead. If you want to look at how much people are dead in the graveyard, if you go online and look at the, 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 uh, the obituary, huh? I say, God, so much young people are dying. You got to fight back. There's no going around this one. And that is going to be more aggressive as the time John nears to Yerushua's return. We got to fight back. Next person, please. You will be the last person before we go. Into a Hi, good morning, Apostle. How are you? I am blessed and highly favored. All right. So my my best friend, a sister, invited me this morning because I'm going through a lot. For the past week, I've been suffering from headaches. Waking up, going to my bed with the headaches. Waking up with headaches. I got my December. I'm 23 years old. And I got my December. My husband get diagnosed with a kidney disease. And All right. Listen, and before you go any further, let me tell you something. Hallelujah. Can you come on the camera? I want to prophesy to you what is going on. Mm -hmm. All right. So what I see, there is a man and a woman that they, they are, they, there is a rage and a fury against you both. And if you're not careful, your husband <laughs> will be hospitalized for long-term periods. Are you there? Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. There's somebody that wants you to die. There's somebody that say that this marriage was not supposed to come into fruition. You have a lot of aggressive enemy. So what is in your head? And it's not just for the last couple of days. This thing has been coming on and off. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. But now it is becoming more aggressive. It's because what was fired in your head is actually the spirit of death. Are you there? Hallelujah. Here. So God is going to use this as a, as a platform 
hallelujah, to deliver you and your husband one time from the spirit of death. From the spirit of death. Because they want your husband also to be a vegetable, that he will not be able to function even sexually to you. They want to totally destroy the marriage. And it's a woman and a man that is doing that against both of you. So I don't know if um the person who invites you to this platform, I will she will send me a telephone number because I will have to give you a prior point. And somebody say the prior point in this ministry it work. You heard the lady, I don't know. The if prior you, point in this ministry prior works. point in this ministry works. You see, oh, the Lord take time and just relax the, the ministration this morning because he wanted to minister to people because sometimes people come on the line and they're suffering and they're living with so much things inside of them that they need someone to talk to. They need to pour it out. They can't carry it alone. But I promise you, after the fourth day of reading the prayer point and saying the aggressive prayer point, inclusive but not limited to the ones that we're going to pray here. Before I come off this line, the headache will leave your head. Hallelujah. Are you there? Are you there? I said before I, you come off the line, uh, this morning, somebody tell her for me that Hallelujah. It's getting ready to jump out of her head. Amen. 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 Kidney vampirism that was fired in your husband is getting ready to jump out by fire. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Apostle. Person. Apostle, excuse yes. me. Is Sister Rose of Sweet Roses. I invited her, Apostle. It's a long time I've been telling her because she's really going through a lot. And I have to force her this morning to come on. Because all of what you just said about the kidney problem and everything, her husband is going through it now. And I have to say, come on, let Apostle come and help pray for you. So I, I will I, pass her now number and I think to you. I want to go for my um my charmer drinks this morning because where I'm going now is very high level witchcraft we're gonna deal with. Uh, hallelujah. The number one yes, thing sir. God tell me that we're gonna rage war against debt bewitchment. Somebody say you wicked devil of debt bewitchment in you the name of Jesus. Devil, bewitchment. Debt bewitchment. Debt bewitchment. Debt bewitchment. bewitchment. Come on, the line is full this money. You can say it louder than that. Die by fire in Jesus. She has been for years she has been fighting the spirit of death. There is a bewitchment that is called death bewitchment that we're going to tackle this morning. That means it's not your time to die, but someone somewhere is bewitching you with the spirit of death. That bewitchment must go back to the sender. Are Amen. you there, somebody? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's called, another name for it is called debt manipulation. We are going to pray this morning. But before we pray, uh, unmute your phone and let's speak in tongues and release the fire of God on this line. In the name of Yahushua, Amashaya, Robo, Kosata, Shabba, <laughs> 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 
of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. No one to say to you, that bewitchment is the same as debt manipulation. That means whoever is bewitching you with debt want to determine or decide when you die. Amen. It is called debt manipulation. They attack you through a power that is called nico science or biological manipulation. It is the opposite of life. It activates death forces. Wherever force of death manipulate you, witches and warlock love to use that on person. I will give you the different variation or application of this attack. It is called afterlife manipulation, afterlife marketing, debt absorption, debt manipulation, debt invocation, debt inducement, debt pen pen uh, penetration, debt presence, a debt indictment, a debt shadow. Prophet David saw that dimension of death in Psalms 23. He said, Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil. They have death, hallelujah, sound, death transcendence, death transferal. Death transferal is that somebody's going to die and they take the death off themselves and they put it on you. They steal your life to elongate their life. That magic, mm. that inducement, that invocation. Are you there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray and ask the Lord to deliver us. And I'm going to mute the line. You're going to repeat the prayer because this is very serious to your health and to your well-being. Hallelujah. Muting all persons. The first thing we're going to do is go to the court of heaven by the shed blood of Yahushua Amashaya. And this is how we approach it. You can repeat it right where you are. Even though I mute you, say it loud and clear. My father in heaven, I ask to appeal to the appellate court by the shed blood of Yahushua Amashiach. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I come, hallelujah, by the blood that was shed for me from the foundation of the world. I ask, oh God, that the court will come in fruition with Daniel chapter 7, 9, and 10. I ask that my books, my children's books, will be open in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. I ask for the men in white, the men in gold linen, the spirit of just man made perfect, uh, the 24 elders. I ask for the heavenly tribunal, Father Righteous Georgia. I ask that you will subpoena to the court, Yahushua Ama Ashiach, Jesus Christ, uh, my lawyer, my propitiator, and propitiation for sin. In the name of Yahushua, Heavenly Father, as I appear in your court, I stand here in your holy supreme court of heaven to present my case. I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. 
before you, Lord. According to Romans 12 and verse 1, righteous George, may you subpoena the strong man of death and sickness and hell, financial debt, ministerial debt, dead organs, dead, macabre, shatter, relationship, dead marriage, dead ministry, dead gifted, dead calling, dead cells, dead muscle, dead bones, dead tissues, Makashabakosata. That program, that summons, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the altar of death, uh, the king and queen and chief prince and president of death uh, in my life, oh God, in my children's life, uh, in my bloodline, in the name of Jesus, Lord, may you summons the idol that sit upon uh, the assignment of death to appear in the court of heaven to give an account for what they have done, for it is written, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 3, do you not know that believers will judge angels how much more than as matter of life? Most righteous judge, I exercise my God-given faith and authority given to me by the just judge, Yahushua Amashiach, Jesus Christ. Tell the Lord, I have been pursued by the spirit of death and hell. I ask that every dead blast, every dead initiation, dead conjuration, dead manipulation, dead invocation, any power of death that has been pursuing my elder, pursuing me, O oh Lord. Father, I ask that you will give me a righteous verdict Thou faithful creator. Father, I ask, oh God, that every power that have been assaulting me, persecuting me with the spirit of death, oh God, that they will, will not rejoice. Hallelujah. Over me, I would like to bring these biblical quotations to stand as evidence in the courts of heaven. God, I will start by bringing to the court Psalms 118 and verse. Hallelujah. Verse 17, which declares, I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I would also like to bring Isaiah 38, 1 to 7, that in those days, Lord, Ezekiah was sick unto death, and Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Set thine house in order, thus says the Lord, for you shall surely die. Lord, the same prophet you gave the word to go back to Ezekiah after he had repented and say that you have allotted to him 15 more years. I ask to Lord God bring to the court the book of Uzziah, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Rababo Shataba Kusata, that you will begin to plague death on my my behalf in the name of Jesus Christ that Hosea 13 14 says and I will ransom them from the power of the grave and I will redeem them from death oh death I will be thy plague oh grave I will be thy destruction repentance shall be in from my eyes Lord I bring to you Isaiah 41 verse 10 fear thou not for I am with thee be not dismayed for I am thy God I will strengthen thee yeah, I will help thee. I will uphold thee uh, with the right Justness of my right hand. I want to bring to the court, God, the blood of Jesus according to Revelation 12 and verse 11. By the blood of Jesus, we overcome the attack and the onslaught of untimely death. I want to bring to you Psalms 23. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Matabo Shaturia. Father, as I come into your court, Lord, I ask that every door that has been opened to make me, come on, say it, a candidate of death, to make my children a candidate of death, right? Asata, Robokoshata, Makosata. We ask, so oh God, that you will go right now to those realms. Hallelujah. And you will begin to unteeter me from the spirit of death. Psalm 79, 11. 
by the edge of your protection, O oh Lord, preserve those who are appointed to die this month of July, this year 2024, in my family, in my church, in my ministry. Hallelujah, my marriage, God, my finance, my gift in my calling, in the name of Jesus, my children, my grandchildren, by the blood of Jesus, wipe away my name. Come on and say it from the register of untimely death. Can you say it? By the blood of Jesus. You're not praying. Makabu Shata. Erase my name from the book, from the register of untimely death. I wipe out my name. I wipe out my business. I wipe out my health. I wipe out my marriage. I wipe out my organs. I wipe out the name of my children and grandchildren. I wipe out my star. I wipe out my destiny from every register. I wipe out my name from every register, every death register. Hallelujah. The next, we're going to start the prayer point. Number one prayer point now say every arrow of slow debt and sudden debt issued against me program in me and my family program in my health program in my organ backfire in the name of Yahshua Mashiach Prayer point number two, uh, Psalms 13, three. I will not sleep the sleep of death. Can you say it? I will not sleep. My children will not sleep. My marriage will not sleep. My health will not sleep. My business will not sleep. The sleep of death. Rock. Prayer point number three, I will not run the race of death. I will not run the race of death. Open your mouth. I will not run the race of death. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Prayer point number four, I will not fall into the pit of death. I will not fall. Come on and say it loud and clear. I will not fall into the pit of death. My children will not fall in the pit of death. Are you praying? And the little bow shut up. Prayer point. Ay, 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 ay. Prayer point number four. I declare that my marriage will not lead me to death, to, to the grave. Hallelujah. My children' marriage will not lead them to the grave. My marriage will not lead me to the grave. My ministry will not lead me to the grave. My friends will not lead me to the grave. My children' friends will not lead them to the grave. In the name of Yahushua, I'm a shire. Point your hand in where you're living. This house will not be my cauldron. This city that I live will not be my cauldron. The nation that I'm in will not be my cauldron. Can you open up your prophetic mouth and shoot the fire? Fire, Roboko Shata. Are you there? This city. That I live will not be my cauldron. This house that I live will not be my cauldron. Are you praying where my children live will not be their cauldron? Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, where my children live will not be their cauldron. Where I live will not be their cauldron. Unmute your phone and say it loud and clear. Hallelujah. Are you praying it? Are you in agreement? Are you praying it, saints? I will be praying oh, and declare my to God where my children will not be. In the name of 
my Listen, listen before you pray. Just listen and I will allow it and don't mute it. The car that I drive will not be my cauldron. The, car that the bus I that I drive in to go to work will not be my cauldron. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Makabo shata rababo. The car that I drive will not be my cauldron. My cauldron. I will not be my children's cauldron. My grandchildren's cauldron. I take my car and I be my cauldron. The bus that I take will not be my cauldron. I am so weird, God. It will not be my cauldron. In the name of Jesus, yes, God. Yes, God, our vehicles will not be our cauldron. In the name of Jesus. Because you're saying that. You're always having freak accident, like the enemy wants to give you a freak accident. Come on the camera, we're going to pray. The car that you drive will not be your cauldron in the name of mm -hmm. Yahushua. Can you open your mouth like a mad prophet? The car, yes. Anything they program in that vehicle, that, that, that vehicle that you drive. Hallelujah. Yes. Like, like a little fun, a mini little thing. That you're driving, uh huh, will not be my cauldron. Open your mouth and say, Minister Simpson, the vehicle I drive will not the vehicle be I drive my cauldron. Will not be my cauldron in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. The vehicle. I drive will not be my cauldron. The vehicle I drive yes. will not take my life in the name of yes. Jesus. The vehicle that I the drive vehicle. will not be my cauldron. Will not be my cauldron. Say three times. The vehicle, the vehicle that, that I, I drive, drive will not will be, not my, be my cauldron. The vehicle that I drive will not be my cauldron. The vehicle that I drive will not be my cauldron. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going Hallelujah. on the next fire, but this is very important. Woo. Can somebody feel what I'm feeling this morning? Huh? The spirit of death is coming out of some people on this line. Hallelujah. The lady that had the headache for three days, for four days. Can you say this? Any arrow of death fired in my head, backfire. Arrow of death fired in my head, backfire. Every arrow of death fired in my brain, fired in my head, backfire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and say that, beloved? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Any arrow of death, fire Any in my brain. Fire in, my brain. Fire. In, the in the name of Yahushua. Amashiach. 
And that's what we're going to say that, listen, if you're not saying the prior points with fire, you know, I'm going to summarize and jump out of here. Hallelujah. These prior points against the spirit of death must be said with fire. Are you there, beloved? In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus Christ. Say so every digger of grave. Every digger of grave. A sign against me. A sign against me. Dig your own grave and die. Dig your own grave and die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everybody say In together. the mighty name Every of digger Jesus. Of grave. Every digger of grave. A sign against me. A sign against me and my children. Dig your own grave. Dig your own grave and die in the mighty no. name of Jesus in the name Christ of Nazareth. Now, every oh. one of you will say your hands on your body like this, like I'm doing on mine. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. Everybody say it. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. Man of death. Yeah. Residing in my body. I pull out your documents. I pull out your documents. All the legal rights. And all your legal rights. Program of cancer. In my body. In my body. I command you, strong man. I command you, strong man. With your program of death. With your program of death. With your program of death. Program of death. To fall to the ground. To fall to the ground. Fall to the ground. And die. And die. die. And die. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. I'm in my body. Program in my body and in my kingdom's body. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. Program in my children's body. Program in my children's body. I lose an angel of the Lord. I lose an angel of the Lord. One million legions. One hundred million legions. One hundred million legions. Yes. From the Lord. Of the, the Lord. Lord. Of the Lord. Of the angels of death from the Lord. The, the angels of death, death from, from the Lord. The, Lord. the angels of death from the Lord. The strong man of death. The angels of death from the Lord. The strong man of death. Kill the strong man of death. Kill the strong man of death. The strong man of death. The strong man of death. I cancel your assignment. I cancel your assignment. Upon my body. Upon my body. Finance. Over my finance. My health. Over my health. Over my health. Over my health. All right, Over Minister Paul, children. come up here because we need to teach these people fire prayer. We can deal with this. I'm going to sign out now. Minister Boyd, come and get the prayer. Amen, amen. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. Living in my body. Living in, in my, my body. body. Be uprooted. Be uprooted with all your venom of death. With all your venom of death. Come on, God, I see a point on your head. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. Lose your grip. Lose your grip, sir. Body, soul, and spirit. Body, Body, soul, and Shout hallelujah, woman of God. Fire, fire, fire. Strong man of death. Strong man of death. I come in the name of the Lord. I come in the name of the Lord. Every habitation that you have built. 
In the name of Yahshua. Jump out. In the Shaman name of the Jump out. Like strong the my fire. Jump, jump, jump out. Now. Jump, jump out. Jump out. Now. Jump out. In the mighty name the of Yahushua. Yahshua. Amashiach. Amashiach. Glory be to God. In Jesus name. We pray. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, have, I, need, I need fire people to pray for you. I don't pray. If you're, you're going to put me to sleep, I need fire Hallelujah. on this line. Is there anyone else? Strong man of death. Strong man of death. From my mother's house and my father's house. Strong man of death from my mother's house and my father's house. Strong man of death from my environment. Strong man of death from my environment. Strong man of death from my environment. Your time is up. Your time is up. Release me and die. Release, Release me now me and, and die. die. In the mighty name of Yahushua, Mashiach. In the mighty name, name of Yahshua, Messiah. Every garment of death. Every garment every of, death, garment of death, death. Every crown of death. Every crown of death. Every crown of death. Place on my body. Place on my body. I set you on fire. I, I set, set you, you on, on fire. fire. In the name of Yahushua. In the mighty name of Yahushua. You see this prayer point? I need you to rest your hand on your stomach. Huh? Mm. Animals of death. Animals of death. Animals of death. Come to my body. Come into my body. Come into my body. No. Sent to my body. Sent to my body. Animals that sent to my body. Witches and wizards. By, by witches, witches and, and wizards. wizards. You animals of death. You, you animals, animals of, of death. death. Receive. Receive. Mm. The sword of death. The sword of death. Sword of death. Yes, sir. That fire. By fire. Animals of death. Animals of death. Receive the sword of death. And receive the sword of death. death. And die. And die. Name of Yahushua. Let me give you the name of Yahushua. You got to say it four times. got to say it four times. Listen to the prayer point. Don't say nothing. Listen. Animals of death. Program in my body to kill me. Receive 
the sword of death and die. Can you say that four times in a hurry? Can you say animals of death? Animals of death. Yes. Receive the sword of death. In the name of God. Animals of death. Animals of death. Animals of death. Receive the sword 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 of death. Death and die in the name of Yahshua Amashiach. I need you to say it four more times on your own. Say it loud and clear. Animals of death. Take to my body. Receive the sword of death and die in the name of Yahshua. Animals of death. Animals of death. Receive the sword of death and die in the name of Yahshua. Animals of death. Animals of death. Receive the sword of death and die in the name of Yahshua. Animals of death. Animals of death. In the name of Yeshua. One more time. Animals of death. Animals of death. Programmed by children. Receive the sword of death. In the name of Yeshua. In the mighty name of Yeshua. I have a special envelope that I receive. I'm a special woman of God. I want to acknowledge her. I'm not going to call her name. She's my partner in ministry. The Lord has, huh, has graced her to do something extraordinary for the ministry that no one has ever done in the history of the Lion of Judah prophetic worship center. So I want to bring her to the court of heaven by her name, her initial that nobody will know who she is until everything goes through. Lady B, I bring you to the court of heaven as I'm about to wrap up now. And I will be in a meeting at 12.30. We are shopping around for the best budget for our money. We see something that is good. We're not going to announce anything. Just, just believe the word of God in my mouth. And we pray through into fruition. Some things, you must just come and announce it. That this is what God has done. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Some things you must just say, this is what God has done. God has just given the ministry an airplane. God has just given the ministry of a school. Something you must just come and announce it. Hallelujah. If you agree with me, Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we're going to thank God for the woman of God, Lady B. That's all I'm going to say. Lady B, you know yourself. I join my faith in coercion with the divine will of God over your life. For any man or any woman that venture out to do something that has to do with the church of the living God. They are setting themselves up for lifetime blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will bless you, bless your marriage into fruition, bless your three children, bless your husband-to-be, bless your businesses, bless everything that pertains to you in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. In Jesus' name. All the givers, all the tithers, in this ministry, I also bring you before the court of Elohim. We could not have reached thus far without you. You have been faithful to the T. You have been very instrumental. God has used you as a divine instrumentality to help the ministry to reach where it is right now. And I also want to bless you. Bless your hands. Bless your marriage. Bless your ministry. Bless your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless your vision. Bless your ministries. In Jesus' mighty, awesome name, I have blessed you. In the name of Jesus, I want to bless myself. I bless myself. Oftentimes, 
We are blessing people. I went, I bless myself. I bless my children. I bless my bloodline. I bless the work of my hand. I bless the ministry of God in my hand. I bless the people of God under my stewardship. I bless my children. I bless my spiritual fathers and mothers. I bless my grandchildren. I bless my brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, and I seal them only to be blessed in Jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah amen saints i god is telling me something that this is amen. the season when we're going to decree things and it come into fruition lion of judah you're about to have a surprise i've been telling you for a while and i'm not saying much about it until god finalize it i believe that some things are to be kept until the time appointed no, saints, I am getting ready to, to exit. I'm going into an aggressive session of prayer. And then I'm going to be going to do some business as it relates to the ministry. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. No one to him that is able to do far exceedingly abundantly. If God has blessed you this morning, can you just offer him thanksgiving this morning for what he has done through the service this morning? Hallelujah. You, From the beginning to the end. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. 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 Thank you, Lord, for what Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. 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 Now every good thing must come to end. Saints, God say, get ready to collect the harvest, and He's not joking. Mm -hmm. Let us prepare ourselves in fasting and prayer to receive the end time harvest. Amen. Make sure you have a star in your crown to lay at Yahushua's feet. I have many stars. Because this is not just now. I've been doing this from twenty from 2010. I've been doing this ministry. From 2020. And it's now 2024. I have been faithful on every broadcast. Giving myself to the people of God. So I cannot imagine what my crowns are going to look like. Can you take up Amen. the mantle today and be a soul, a soul winner? Please give yourself to soul. If you're, if you're not very talkative, find some tracks, get some tracks, hand them out to the people. God is watching you. It's not about you, your family, your business, your marriage. Me, 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 no. You're a conduit, you're a channel, you're a vehicle to reach the lost. That is your kingdom commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel, making disciples of all nations. Hallelujah. Please, saints, let's get ready to win souls. Invite someone else. I like what I see this morning. The broadcast was full and it continued to go up and down. Let us be evangelistic in this moment and tell them to come. You never know what people is dealing with. He that is wise when it is soul. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom.